um, hi guys my name is Basil uh, uh, here in this video I am actually trying to uh, create a simple program in which uh, uh, I'll initiate a repository and this repository would be based on different backend uh, like file system or RDB or Mongo NoSQL or it might be in the memory as well so what I have is uh, my maven, this is simple maven project the name is old basics uh, if I have to expand it uh, I just go through the home.xml here I have specified one property with the name old version it's uh, 1.7.11 that's uh, what I'm using in this program the dependencies that I have included are JCR 2.0, Ocore, Ocore, JCR, Oak Segmentar, and other related dependencies. I have a Mongo Java driver that will be used by Mongo based uh, uh, document uh, MK, uh, MySQL connector Java that would be used for RDBMK and Tomcat, Tomcat GDBC that's used for data sources that we will be using in RDBMK. Let's see what's in the main program. So what we are doing here is basically we are giving a menu for different repository types and Based on the input, we will definitely start with different memory node store. Say for case one and for case two, we will get uh, the segment and uh, NS repository. Case three is document Mongo NS repository. And then finally, the RDBMS based repository. If I have to go through all these methods, I'll just quickly go through all of them. First, let's say segment node store repository. It's here. It's actually creating a repository in this directory, tarmk repository, and it's also using a file blob store for large files. And that's how it returns the repository object. Memory based repository is very easy. By default. If even if we don't specify anything like new JCR, new or create repository, this would create a memory based repository. Then we have document MK. In this, we are actually providing the details of our Mongo database to, um, to the Mongo client. And that's also, we are also, you know, providing a file blob store here as well. Next is document RDBMS based uh, repository. Here also we have to specify our database. Uh, my system has uh, MySQL instance running, and I have created a database uh, RDBMK Oak. That's the name. In case of Mongo, it's Mongo MK. And I return the repository object. There is a simple method which says save session. It will create a node name would be hello. It will add a property name count. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and it will save the property. That would be with the name file and the value would be like it, the the value would be a stream actually stream object so that would be saved if we call the again the next time it will again count the uh, add the property count for the node hello and it will again save the file and it uses the admin credential object that's simple credentials let's start so i'll just run my program right away 
It's Java application. It's asking me, giving me option to first one will be. I'm going to give the first that's memory. It's creating the hello node in the memory based MK. And I see I don't see anything. And that's because the repository that was created is the memory base. It's gone. If I run it again, it won't again, you know, increase the count. Next is if I run it again, I'm going to choose option two. That's segment R. It says creating the hello node. And here I see that my tar and k repository has been created. And wow, we have a blob store as well. Okay, so the large file would go inside it. There are some defaults that are always validated. If the file is bigger than that default, it will go inside the blob store. Okay, let me run it again so that I could make sure based on the program logic, it will increase the count of the property. So I'm going to choose two again. And this time, count has increased to one. I'm going to run it again just to verify it's working fine. Choosing the two again. And the count is two. So it's perfectly working fine. Repository saved and the count is increasing for the property of the node hello. Next, I'm going to try the option three that is Mongo. So I'll try Mongo, but before I execute the program, let me show you the Mongo instance. This is my Mongo. I'm okay. MK, that's the name of the Mongo database. I don't have any collections in it. So I'm going to execute the program now. And I see in the similar fashion, it now created Mongo MK repository. Let me see on the file system. Now we have Mongo MK repository. The only difference between this, the node structure would be saved inside the inside the Mongo database but the large file would still go into blob because we are actually specifying the blob store mm. here that's our blob store so large file would uh, still be stored in it I can execute it one more time just to make sure that the count is increasing as expected. Count is one. That's working fine. Now I'm going to go for the last option. That's uh, our RDBMK. Before I execute, let me show you the. This is the database that we have. I'll refresh all no tables there. We can see now in the collections actually that the tables have been created. Just four tables that are used by document MK. Okay, so now we're gonna execute the RDB MK. No tables here. We can execute it now. Oh wait, so we have RDB MK repository here and on the file system. This is again exactly similar to Mongo MK and it has created the hello node some logging by the Java driver, MySQL and Tomcat libraries. I'll execute it one more time just to make sure that the node property count increases or now the count is one. See the what what are the tables? Refresh it, and we see four tables have been created. RDBMK prefix is basically I have provided. So if I have to see that, we can definitely verify that. So this was the prefix that I've ordered, and it's not 
gonna drop the table once we close it. So yeah, one thing you may need to take care of is like large files. These are the two files, zip file that I'm uploading into the repository. So they would go into blob store. So make sure that they are there when you are uploading. Otherwise change the path and upload it based on your system location. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, please comment on the video and I will try to answer as soon as possible. Thank you.